I made a leave-in conditioner spray using my aloe vera and I got 100% results. Like the results were amazing, you guys. Just check out the next step right here and I'll tell you everything you need to know. So this is two days after I blow dried and trimmed my hair. This is the result I got after leaving in the aloe vera conditioner leaving conditioner in my hair for two days guys i covered it with a shower cap and slept with it for two days and this is how my hair is using just this is my hair without any products guys just the leaving conditioner after blow drying and this is the result guys so let's get into the tutorial for today first of all if you are new to my channel welcome my name is deli Bier. i do natural hair videos and I teach you guys how to grow your hair very healthy so if you're interested in such content please do not hesitate to subscribe make sure you click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I drop a new video and do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up because it helps YouTube to push my videos to more viewers okay guys so let's get into the video for today as you guys can see oh my goodness I stumbled upon this shop that has big aloe veras. I was looking for something else and then I saw aloe vera. I was like, oh my God. So I got my aloe vera knowing how beneficial aloe vera is to our natural hair. I was excited. I got two of these sizes, guys. Look at how thick and jelly this aloe vera is so I started off first tutorial that I made was to make a leave-in conditioner spray for my natural hair knowing my hair my hair is going to love it I have done this in the past I have other videos guys if you want to go check it out so just watch me okay so I start off by cutting four of these big chunks and I'm going to start by removing the sides of it so I'll be able to assess the gel inside and once I have done that guys I'll just go ahead and give you guys the benefits of uh, aloe vera aloe vera has so many ways you can use it on your natural hair you can use it as a pre pull you can use it as a shampoo you can use it as a conditioner you can use it as a styler you can use it as a a treatment as well okay so in this video i'll show you how i am using it as a leave-in conditioner on my hair meaning this right here i'm not going to wash it out I will spray it in my hair and leave it in my hair and you guys can see the results after two days that I told you about and so keep watching if you want to um, repeat this on your own hair and guys aloe vera contains what is known as protolytic enzymes which repair dead skin cells on your scalp it also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair really smooth and shiny you guys can see from the results after two days that i blow dried my hair how smooth and manageable my hair is or was promotes it also promotes a uh, hair growth if you use aloe vera constantly on your hair it's going to make your hair to grow really fast and it prevents itchy scalp okay it reduces dandruff and it conditions your hair so badly like you guys will see me showing you so many clips of how my hair was feeling really detangled when i was applying this on my hair oh my god i left like a small advertisement there you know how they're doing the this audience advertisement you see on the tv that people will be combing their hair like this i left it here in the video so stay tuned do not skip this video video okay so i'm just going to scoop out all the gel and after i did that i just cut it off so i don't want to bore you guys and i moved to the last stage where i was showing you guys the quantity so this is the quantity that i had oh my goodness this aloe vera gel is so thick and slimy so i'm going to go ahead now and just blend this okay so after blending this i'll come back
so this is it right here i'm just going to use my wig cap you can use a cheese cloth and just sift this so you don't have the chunks on your hair and guys you don't want to deal with a lot of particles i still ended up i think i ended up having particles i don't know if it's for or the aloe vera leave-in conditioner or what i don't know but i had small 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 particles so i think a cheese cloth will be better off yeah so after you do that just go ahead and strain okay once you strain that you are going to have your smooth slimy and can you see that it was just foaming too much so when i did this i had to leave it for a while because there was too much foam in the aloe vera i could not see the liquid immediately i did this so i i just let it sit for a couple of minutes like 15 to 20 minutes then i came back okay because i wanted to know what quantity i'm working with like this aloe vera was too thick and too slimy and all so in the next stage this is the particles that i'm telling you about that if you don't separate it it's going to go remain in your hair so right here now i'm adding my aloe vera oil which i have in the house for so long now i didn't want to add um any other oil that has any yellowish color like that so my aloe vera was white and this i wanted to stick to just being aloe vera itself so you can use whatever oil you have at home coconut oil any oil of your choice but i went in with my aloe vera oil since i had it in the house okay guys and you know if you know me in this channel you know i will always add something else on my sprays make it really really nice and just cool on my scalp okay so look at the consistency guys i thought i felt like this was so thick that it was not going to come out from my spray bottle so i just had to add um, a little bit of water i kept on adding just to make it um a little like medium thick i don't know <laughs> oh my goodness guys sometimes it's so difficult to explain for you guys to understand i wanted the consistency that will come out from my spray bottle knowing that this was really 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 too thick yes yeah, so i just kept checking with you using my eyes if i was happy with the consistency that i can then transfer into my spray bottle I went ahead and did that look at it right now i think this is okay i went ahead and added a little bit more just so i i'm sure my my spray bottle will be able to remove this spray and, and spray on my hair that's the reason i'm doing this but if you want to just use your hand to apply it then it's cool so i'm adding my peppermint essential oil right here because it's a spray and i need to massage my scalp and my scalp needs to feel really cool and nice and itchiness should disappear that is why i'm adding my peppermint oil you can go ahead and add any other essential oils like rosemary and the rest if you have them at home if you don't have it just your aloe vera gel right here with any oil of your choice is very okay so i'm transferring this right now into my spray bottle you guys see why i was adding water because the spray bottle right here the head of the spray bottle like it cannot remove something that is too thick so that's why i added water to it but it's still the consistency is really great right now and yes i'm go just going to remove this show you guys and we'll move to the next stage where i showed you guys 100 percent how i applied everything on my hair and you guys do not skip this video i know the questions that people ask if they didn't watch all my videos okay if they don't watch all videos they skip 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 they come and ask questions that they have in the video okay so this is the spray right here if you know your hair is really really dry go ahead and add uh, oil into this spray right here so this is me applying it on my clean hair okay my hair is clean guys right here 
as you can see my hair was just freshly washed from the shower mm -hmm. so i'm just applying it now and then i will twist it on my sections that i have done and detangled already okay so you see i i spray the aloe vera uh, leave-in conditioner on the hair this is my hair without any products so i'm just applying just the aloe vera juice right now when i detangle the section i twist i massage my scalp and all look at the twist look at how juicy and bouncy my twists are guys my hair shrinks a lot so when there's water in it you just like you just be like oh this girl your hair is not growing can you see that <laughs> oh my god mm. so this is me almost halfway done look at how bouncy my twists are just the aloe vera look at these guys So I'm done twisting. I'm just massaging my edges, the entire hair. So I'm showing you guys right now how it looks. And guys, I went ahead. I just let this air dry for a couple of minutes. So the excess uh, water that is dripping will just dry away. And then at night, I went ahead and just uh put on my shower cap my hair like my hair was 50 percent dry i went ahead and put on the shower cap and this is two days later i blow dried and this is my hair shiny smooth 